Thanks so much, Slaco. Okay, one more hand for both him and Edo, please. Our two wonderful game creators presenting this evening. Takes a lot to get a flagship title to market, guys. Um, so Angelic uh, came out in July with their open alpha. Lusa is going to come out in, um, in the fall. In the fall. So look out for that on Steam and Epic, as Slaco said. But the game looks incredible, doesn't it? Uh, so thank you so much, guys, um, for hanging in there. So the very last flagship title is called God's Legacy. And uh, the creator of this game, Lukash Jamil, unfortunately could not be here this evening, so I will present it on his behalf. Uh, God's Legacy came into my inbox a couple months ago because um, someone who was representing the game said, this is a wonderful game. They cannot find a publisher because uh, they're too small, too early. There are no metrics to show yet, uh, but I promise you it's a really, really great title. And I said, sure. I mean, I, I never refuse a conversation. Guys is one secret to me that I probably shouldn't have told you, but uh, that, that's the truth. So I, I took a meeting with Lukash, and he outlined for me his passion for his heritage. Um, he's from Poland, and he comes from the Slavic tradition, from Sumerian Olmec traditions. He really took all that mythology, brought it to this game, built out a huge body of lore. And the game takes you from that mythic time to the present day and then all the way into the future where he's a big fan of X-Files, guys. I know, random tidbit. It probably also ages him, so apologies for that, Lukash. But um, he's a huge fan of sci-fi, and so he wanted to create the future in this game as well. And it's hugely expansive. Uh, you can see why it fulfills all the criteria for being a Saga Origins game, and I wanted this game. And so, it is now one of our flagship titles, and I am thrilled to share the trailer with you. Ladies and gentlemen, God's Legacy. Amazing. Um, you can tell why I fell in love with that title and why I decided to produce it. Uh, so thank you guys so much for being here. I know that this entire time you've greatly enjoyed hearing more about Saga and about each of these titles, well, let's be real. I am standing between you and the bar, so I'm gonna keep it short. Uh, truly, thank you. Uh, so one of the things that really struck me towards the summer of this year is when you look at the top 10 grossing games on Steam this year, five are indie and we just know that the industry is going to try to find a way to work better with indie studios, and the publishers are going to come. They're, they're going to, you know, wrangle with their business models how they usually go about 
uh, conducting business in this industry. And they want the glamour of indie, they want the originality and experimentation, but it takes a fuck ton of work to support it. So we at Saga are going to do our part. Um, if you do have a title, we're always interested in hearing from you. Uh, if you want to work on a title, if you want to work um, just on the pure infrastructure level of Saga, obviously, more than happy to chat with you guys. But thank you so much for being here and being part of our community. Enjoy the evening and please support your fellow creators. Thanks so much, guys. Thank <laughs> you.